Hello everyone, hello, hope you're doing okay. Chocolate Birds here for a live video review of budget Easter eggs. Yes, so um, not necessarily budget budget, but um, well they are really, I guess you'd say. I think they're still branded though, and this and the other, not just um, you know, knockoff ones or whatever, but <laughs> should be a good one, I think. Should be a good one to see. And hi Adriana, how are you doing? Great to see you back. Where have you been? Yeah, <laughs> been a bit busy, as you remember you saying. Well, I'm glad you're back anyway, and hope you're doing okay. Yeah, so um, those you don't know, uh, you probably do, but maybe you don't, but uh, in the UK at least we have uh, this concept of chocolate Easter eggs, basically. Um, so the gist of it is, is that uh, every or at Easter time, you know, you, you can buy chocolate eggs in the shops and they tend to be hollow eggs, um, usually branded ones, but you can get non-branded ones as well. Uh, basically hollow eggs with, and usually with an accompanying chocolate bar. So it's a Kit Kat Easter egg, it'll be a sort of Nestle egg, essentially. It could just be nothing special in the egg, um, but then it will have... Um, uh, so like a Kit Kat chunky or a Kit Kat or whatever with it or something like that. In fact, uh, hmm, let me see, I wanted to, hmm, I'll tell you what, I won't be five seconds. I'm just going to go gra grab one of the bigger ones just as, as an example because I want to show obviously the comparisons with this one. So I won't be wrong, I'm going to put the waiting thing back on so I won't be a second. <laughs> meant to get it. I thought I'd go for it ready. Obviously I hadn't. This was one thing I meant to get and um, I regret that. But I won't be a second. Five seconds. <laughs> Right, I'm back as if by magic, yes. <laughs> yeah, live TV, live TV. Never worked with, what was it, animals, children and chocolate, it turns out. Yeah, so there we go. So just getting one of the um, one of the more normal Easter eggs, one of the non-budget ones, just to show the comparison, actually. So um, there we go. Yeah, so there we are. <laughs> oh, if I go, Johnny, yes, do you have them in the US? Have some, I, I'm not never too sure where, whether, you know, people have them or not. Sometimes some people say they do. And I always forget if it's the US or Canada or uh, Australia or somewhere like that, you know. So, yeah, let me know. I'll tell you, I'll show you an example. Well, I've got one here. Uh, Cabbage mini eggs one. So there we go. So you can see this is a small, this is what I would call a budget one. Um, there is still a branded one. So there are, you can get sort of, you know, non-branded ones, you know, and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's not bad. I think it's pretty good, really. And all in all, it's a nice 7 gram uh, product. It costs about pound twenty-five. I got this in Asda. 125 so not too bad, I don't think, because um, some of the bigger ones, they end up costing between 10 and £15 pounds these days. So they're quite expensive. I mean, some of them can be eight, nine pounds, but generally they're quite, you know, there are like a, it's basically three tiers. There's this kind of tier. There's a middle tier, which is, um, I don't have one of those actually, or about eight pounds or something like that. In fact, <laughs> I probably do, but well, oh, all right, okay. I've got one here, hang on. <laughs> Let's see. I've got to draw the line somewhere, haven't I, between, you know, what I keep messing about with, but here we go. Yeah, so I've got like a sort of middle tier one here, you'd perhaps say. It's an MS one. I think this is quite good actually. I was, this is why I was a bit reluctant to say it was a sort of middle tier one, but you can see the difference in size. Um, but, you know, 210 grams, it's basically twice the size as far as what you get is concerned. So 97 grams, 210. But you know, but it's about eight times the price. So, <laughs> but then you've got the sort of the make this is what I wanted to get before. Then you've got these, the sort of the big. Now you can get even bigger, well, not, well you can get bigger than this, but you can get more expensive than this. This one's between probably about 10 and 15 pounds. And you can see here, it's got, it's, this one's actually got a filling egg, which is my favourite kind. I love the ones where they've got something in the egg, which I think is really good. Camel cookie inclusion. Real cookie pieces. Yes. Now this is my own personal one. I probably won't review this one because I've got to sort of have a bit where I, have, I enjoy chocolate just for the chocolate's sake sometimes, you know. <laughs> but you can see here, this is a... Uh, 556 grams, but I say between 10 and 15 pounds, can't quite remember what this one cost, but I'm sure it was over 10 pounds. So you think it's, uh, you know, we think this small one here, this one, well, it does look a lot smaller, and it is a lot smaller. <laughs> Let me just uh, see if I can hold it correctly. Um, you know, I mean, look at that, but you know, at the end of the day, it's only five times smaller in weight, or in lighter in weight, or whatever. Uh, roughly anyway, well maybe a bit more than that, so let's, let's just say six for argument's sake, but um, 
you know, but it's more than six times cheaper. You know, it's um, it's probably it's probably twelve times cheaper probably. So yeah, so you know what I mean. So I think that's the gist of it. Just are these any good when compared to these ones? And obviously these ones have all the special shenanigans going on. It's got extra bars in it, got field egg and stuff like that. But you know, there we go. So obviously these ones are a bit more of a, an indulgence, I guess. But yeah, is this one just is this one any good? Yes. <laughs> You never seen that one? Looks good, yes. Yeah, not too bad these ones. They are pretty impressive, all of them. And I've said it's loads, you can get millions of them. You can spend almost as much as you want on them. There's £30 ones you can get from special places, you know, Hotel Chocolat, some other place, Chocolo Online or something it was called. It's not my own website, something like that. I remember my friend showing it me um, about £30. Pounds. I didn't look, I don't know if it was worth it while I was still there, but I don't think they ever are actually worth it for £30, pounds, but there we go. But yes, humongous, yes. <laughs> I think that's the thing as well. There is a sort of fact that it's probably a bit of a gift, you know. It's <laughs> You could have five of these, or you could have one of these big ones, you know what I mean? And would you, maybe this one, even though, you know, <laughs> this, this this would be half the price whenever to get five of these. Maybe having this big one, though, is a bit more special. So there is something to say about that, and I'm not sure what the answer to that is. It just depends on your own personal preference and things. Like this one here, for instance, you know, it's got, like, coffee time. What extremely chocolatey tasteless, you know, and loving an egg. Got, like, lots of chunky bits in it, you know what I mean? Whereas this one, you know, it's just, it is what it is. But if you look on the side, it does come with uh, eggs on the inside. So I think that's what we're going to find out, really, whether this is just as nice. Honestly, if you get a few of them, because, for instance, I've got a load here. So I don't know if I'll review them all specifically, but I mean, I kind of got just got a variety here. I don't think it's worth going through all of them. But you can see, got these three here, Milky Bar. These are all 125 each. You know, got the uh, camel nipples in there. We got these other ones. Got Freddo as well. <laughs> we got the white uh, Cadbury white buttons. You know, and as I say, we've even got some Smarties as well. Um, but it's interesting to look at the back of them, I think, because. What's another thing to bear in mind? I also got this one as well for a comparison. This Pepper Pig one as well, this Killerton Pepper Pig. They did do a Paw Patrol one and some other cartoony one. I can't think what it was. They're all the same basically, but just rebranded, I think. I don't think there's any difference. And I've also got an MS one here, which just comes with nothing, basically, but actually costs more, so that's interesting. But that, that's the weightage, I think, is the uh, next one. The Cadbury ones tend to be between 96 and maybe 98 grams. You can see 98 there. 96, the Freddo is uh, 96, the white buttons is 98, you know, we've got the, uh, these ones here, 97 for the mini egg ones, so they're all roughly about the same weight, which is pretty good actually, as I said, there are literally two grams in it, you know, but if you look at the, this Nestle Milky Bar one, it's just 96 grams, and I think this is the whole weight, it's for all the chocolates and stuff on the inside as well, but then if I look at the, uh, where is it, on the Smarties one, that's uh, 119, 100, yeah, 119 grams. Again, all the same prices. I'm pretty sure these are all £1.25. There was a Kit Kat one as well you could get for £1.25. In fact, I did look at this website. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure they are the case. Yeah. They're perfect for an Easter egg hunt, yes. <laughs> well, you can actually get actual eggs um, in a in a pack for Easter egg hunts as well. So you can, there is, a, there is something to cater for that as well. You guys get some unique eggs. It's not bad at all. And this is just a, you know, the tip of the iceberg basically. It's always dropping the ocean. One or the other, both of those, <laughs> those sayings. Yeah. So it's uh, very interesting ones. These ones. But the weight is what matters, I think. And as I say, if you look at the Kinnerton one, it does feel particularly light, and it's sixty-two grams. You know what I mean? So even though it comes in this big fancy box, it has a bar in it as well. I think you know, um, but sixty-two grams. I'll say yeah. So it is a bit of a. You know, you've got to look out for that. And as I say, the M&S one is which may, may, may be better quality chocolate. As I say, all you've got is this little smiley face. But it's 75 grams. So again, you know, but it, this one actually costs more. £1.50 this one was. So, you know, £1.25, £1.50. Although, obviously, we take out the packaging. So there's something to bear in mind there. We'll see what the size difference is, of course, when we take the eggs out and stuff like that. Have a look at them. I don't know if I'll taste them all, because I think the Cadbury's ones, for instance, are all going to be the same other than the filling. You know, we're just going to have a bit of a sample, really. And hi there, Joe. Great to see you. How are you doing? Yes. <laughs> Evening, is it? Well, it's, it's still the afternoon here, actually, Joe. It's not too, too bad. We're not that far ahead yet. yet anyway, but the clocks will go forward. Uh, I think it's next week, actually. Mm. Yes, interesting products indeed. Yeah, not too bad, these ones. I thought I'd just do something. I say Easter's coming around. 
well, maybe two, three weeks away. I'm not sure. I've got tons of Easter products to get through. I don't know if I'll be able to get through them all. I've still got, I think I've still got Easter reviews from last year that I didn't publish, I think. So we'll see. Pepper Pig, hey, they'll still have cereal. They have Pepper Pig cereal here. They, they might do here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's a few of the same brands that are sort of seem, seem to be quite synonymous as in they come out with the same products. Like, for instance, these, there was a, you know, a Paw Patrol egg and there was something else as well. I forgot what it was. Hey Dougie, I think it was, which is a UK one, I think. I don't have that in the US. Well, the Pepper Pig's, I guess, a UK one, isn't it? But yeah, so there's like a three different brands, I think it was. So quite interesting, quite interesting, yeah. So there were to start with, I mean, I might, normally I do one at a time, but I might just take a couple of these out and just look at them individually. I might not move down here. I've got the old camera, you know, as you, as you know, I have the camera down here as well, you know, to do stuff. But uh, I don't know if it's worth doing that. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we've got a nice weather here, actually, uh, Jow. Weather for Jow, yes, in Brusque is uh, fair with a temperature of 8 to 29 degrees Celsius. North, northeast at 7 miles an hour. It's 56% humidity, yes, so yeah, so what's a... Uh, if I've spelled it right, hopefully I have. Yeah. There we go. But where I am in Manchester, yes. 13 degrees, and it feels quite nice actually outside. 13. It's a warm day for us actually, Joe. 13 degrees, yeah. <laughs> West northwest at uh, 5 miles an hour, 73% humidity. But it feels really nice outside. It's quite bright and lovely. So for us, this is a nice spring day today, yeah. <laughs> I think you still probably need a coat, but it's not bad. Yeah, so everyone's doing all right. As I say, we've got quite a lot going on there today. So I might do about five, review about five of these, even though I've got, you know, tons of them. So I've got all these here, that's five. Plus, uh, plus the Hey Doug, well, not Hey Doug, the Peppa Pig one, and the Nibbles and the M&S one. So I think we'll probably do the M&S one compared to the Nestle. We'll probably do a Cadbury, M&S, Peppa Pig, um, and the Nestle one. I think we'll see what happens there. So I think that's probably probably fair enough. Maybe well, maybe two of the Nestle ones. We'll do the Milky Bar one and the Smarties one because they're so radically different. Sounds pleasant. Yeah, it's not a bad day today. I mean, yeah, but it's this is a typical spring day. I think it's quite a a pleasant day. I think thirteen degrees or so is probably it, that's why for us when it gets into the twenties it's really warm because typically I think it's thirteen to nineteen. Well, even nineteen. I think thirteen to sixteen probably is a normal nice sunny day but any hotter than that is when it gets a bit too much <laughs> ah see north carolina eh? north carolina i think i went to north charlotte i was in north carolina yes a few years back i went there uh, for my the nephew's wedding yeah so let's see 10 degrees so a bit similar to us actually yeah yeah 40 percent humidity six miles an hour wind yeah see but yeah i went to charlotte yeah charlotte it was might have been around different places but it's just for a wedding there so yeah nice place <laughs> Right, okay, so let's see, what should we do? I mean, this one, you can feel, you can see it's just, you know, it's a lot of packaging in this one. I'm sure last year they didn't have them in a box. They just had them separately like this, so you could buy it like that. But I didn't see many like this this time. Only in uh, MS that they had them. Most of them were boxed this year, actually, which was a bit strange, I thought. But, um, yeah. All right, well, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, give them all an open, I think, and see, but, well... I don't, know how, I don't know how far to go on the, on the back of the box. We'll uh, give this one a look at, see what it says. So per half an egg, 68 calories. So it's quite good on calories. Um, well, there you go. You've got um, 62 grams is four times an egg and one times the bar. So it's quite good. It tells you exactly what's in it, which is pretty good. Um, per 12.6 grams. So per 100 grams, 540 calories. Yeah, so the whole thing, as I say, is uh, it's quite difficult to work out the calories. 62 grams it is. But it's basically, you know, I mean, it gives you per 12.5 grams. So it's roughly five times that, I think. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. 68 calories. So 714, 21, 28, 35, about 350 calories, all things, something like that. Okay. Hmm. This room will really come down to whether you like cheap Kinnison and chocolate or not. I've heard it before, and I think it's decent, nothing special. Who knows, you might love it. Yes, I think I had it. Um, I had the Paw Patrol one last year, I think, when I reviewed it. It wasn't too bad, I seem to remember. If I find this, I'll give it to my little cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Andrew, by the way. Good to see you. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely one for obviously aimed at kids, this one, you know. But I'll, tell you, I'll open this one and we'll, uh, in fact, let's have a look. Let's try. I mean, everyone loves. Well, which one should we do? Oh. People like Freddo on the channel, don't they? So I'm tempted to do Freddo. But I think because it's Easter. We'll do the mini eggs one as well. Open this one. So this one, let's see, per 100 grams. It's roughly 100 grams for the whole thing. 526 calories. So quite high in calories, these, aren't they? 39 grams of fat, 16 of which are saturates. There we go. 
Hollow, hollow milk chocolate egg containing solid milk chocolate eggs and a crisp sugar shell. There we are. All right, and then um, yeah, so you can't really see the uh, calories on the MS one, I don't think. I think that's all they've got in it, so not too too great that. But there we go. I don't think there's any calories on there. Might be on the inside of the wrap. Who knows? Got a nice little bunny on it, I guess, which is better than nothing. I think this probably one is more for, you know, <laughs> middle class Easter egg hunts. I think you'd probably say where you know um. Parents would buy a few of these rather than the smaller eggs. You know, maybe that's the gist of it. <laughs> a bit more expensive. But those got money to spend, basically. Well, about 20 eggs. Only 20 pounds. Is that a lot? I don't know. Mind you, maybe the uh, the mini, the packs of all the mini stuff um, might add up to the same price. And then, you know, but it depends on what you want to get. Maybe you want some bigger eggs for it. But I guess with the with kids, you wouldn't want them arguing, would you? You want the same size eggs, I think. So, yeah. All right, um, 119 grams. Let's see this one as well. So this one's the biggest one, I think, of these smaller ones. Let's see, will it uh, focus in as well on what's going on? I don't know if it will. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't focus in like this sometimes. There we go. It's per eighth of an egg, 79 calories. So this is an eighth of an egg, 79 calories, 4.2 grams of fat, 2.5 weeks of saturates. 400 grams, which is roughly a bit more for the whole egg, 520 calories, 37.3 grams of fat, 16.4 weeks of saturated. So per 100 grams, it tends to be about 500 calories per 100 grams, which is quite a lot, really. I love that you'd think, you'd think this is 500 grams. Yes. I have a question. What day is Easter again? I need to know, um, know the way, <laughs> that way I can do the shopping. No, I didn't know, actually. Thanks, Shady. Good to see you, by the way, Shady. Good to see you. Yes, it's been some time. Has been some time. <laughs> How's things going for you? <laughs> oh. Yes, so very well. Thank you, Shady. Yes. Now I'm trying to, oh, no Shady, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember your real name and I can't, for like it's left my head. Um, oh, I can't remember. I'm sure it begins with C, but I can't think. Uh, gee, I've got Corey in my head and it's not Corey because that's <laughs> someone else on the channel. Oh, sorry Shady, I can't recall. Oh, you have to. Casey, that's it, Casey, yes. I, <laughs> I, was almost, I knew I was almost right with Corey, but there we go. I just, well, I got Corey in my head. Good to see you, good to see you, Corey. Good to see you. Uh, Casey, I'm getting names, you know, I'm just terrible with names generally anyway. So, so I try my best to remember these days, because it's really important, I think, to uh, remember people's names, things like that. But honestly, yeah, I'm just, um, as I'm getting older, it's getting more and more difficult to remember all these things, I must say. And just, I don't know, I'm kind of, um, I kind of, I've just, you know, what, I've just sort of thought, you know what, that's just the way it is. You know, so, so I don't worry too much about it now. But of course, it does gives me, uh, it does gives me times like this where I just, you know, can just annoyingly at the spur of the moment can't remember. So I do apologise. But great to see you, Casey. Great to see you. <laughs> and that's what he's going for you. How's your poetry coming along? I remember um, that was your big thing, wasn't it? So you still, uh, you still into that? So I do remember that. I do remember that. So there we go. <laughs> All right, so let's give this an open then. I think we'll give this one, and we'll just give a few of them an open and see. Um, let's have a look. Okay, now, what's the best way? I don't like ripping them open sometimes. I like to try and open them a bit more gently, but uh, we'll go from the bottom. Why not? Got like a convenient gap there. Might be the wrong way to go about it, but we'll see. Let's see, let's see. It just says something on the bottom there. Challenge. Can you, what's it saying? Can you spot all the eggs on the pack? Oh, interesting, okay. So it's got a little thing on there, so that's quite good, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it tells you the answer or not, but uh, okay, it's quite a few. I think it's all these eggs I think you've got to find, I guess. But whether um, kids would really have done that, I don't know. <laughs> well, quite nice, maybe there's someone inside, who knows? All right. So when you open it, you've got a, like a little mini bar. It's a very small bar, I think you'd say. You know, lots of flourishes on there. A lot smaller than you'd think. I and mean, look at that, it's quite tiny actually. It's not really you know, a bit of a cheat. How big is the actual egg as well? Now, the egg as well, look at that. It's quite a small egg, I think you'd say. And let's put the packaging down. You know, I mean, the MS one, I thought the MS one was quite small. You can clearly see it's smaller than the MS one. It's got a nice wrapping on it though, but it's just got all the K's. It's got nothing specific to Pepper Pig on it, so it's probably just the generic Kinnerton wrapper that they do. But they're probably all guilty of that, Cadbury included. Uh, but there you go, a lot smaller. So we got that to start with. And we've got the plain chocolate bar as well. Keep that to one side. Let's open, uh, I mean, we, you know, attempted the Freddo one. People like Freddo, but as I say, we'll do, uh, we'll do this. I like that it's got like a little two thing on it as well, which is quite nice. Yes. <laughs> and don't worry, don't worry about any typos I drawn, no problem at all. I used to watch Peppa Pig when I was younger, so I might enjoy this myself, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've never, um, 
I don't know if I've really ever seen it. I think I've seen it, but I've not seen it too, if you know what I mean. Okay, it's got some packaging. You can see all the gubbins that are padded out. This is not suitable for children under four. Loose mini eggs inside product. Okay. All right. So again, so you do get... This feels quite full of eggs, actually. And I say, I really like the picture on the side which shows you what's in it. I quite like that. And probably the actual size as well. I think it probably is, which I quite like. I think that's really good. I quite like that. And it does it on all the Cadbury ones of these small types. You know, and I think it really looks good. I mean, look at that. I think it really looks appetising, that. <laughs> I like it. Uh, what should we do? We'll try the... We'll get the... Yeah, we'll do the, mini, the Milky Bar one. Um, why not? And then we'll do the Smarties one as well. Because Smarties one and Milky Bar one, even though they're the same price, they're both uh, different weightages. I've got that sort of flappy top, protective top, which is quite good. Alright, so that's the Milky Bar one. See the um, <laughs> the Nestle ones have this sort of football design on it, which I say like, um, like sort of Pentagon or whatever it is, or Heptagon. Uh, Heptagon, I think, yes. You can hear some horses clopping in the background. I've got some policemen going around on horses these days. I don't know. <laughs> Very interesting, all police people. Very interesting, really. But yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, probably won't be able to hear it. But yeah, there is a uh, horse is going past at the moment. <laughs> Basically, on my microphone, I have like a what's called a noise gate, essentially. So it's to stop low, you know, when like the heater comes on or something like that. It's to stop those um, or little bumps or whatever. And so the, basically, there's a gate level um, of noise that's not allowed through a filter, essentially. Um, so it filters out certain frequencies up until about this much, and then it kicks in about this high or something. So basically, all your sort of to be noises and stuff are down here and cars going past maybe but then my voice will be up here somewhere so that's what you can hear. sometimes if you're listening to people on youtube and other things you can hear the noise gate kicking in but it sort of abruptly stops when they're speaking you know, when they when they're speaking it doesn't quite feel like they've quite finished what they're saying almost and it just cuts in too early where they've not calibrated it very well it's a pain to calibrate those things i must say Yes, yeah, it's probably better push mini eggs than you get in a pack these days. You're probably right as well. You're probably right. In fact, that's not bad, is it? Because normally, it's a good point that actually, Casey, because normally in the old days, you would, see, well, still today, really, you would say that the min, uh, sort of Easter eggs are not really good value for money. You may as well buy a pack of them. But then what you've said there, it probably costs about 75p for a pack of uh, mini eggs, and they probably aren't as, um, you know, it's probably not much difference, really. Cadbury or Cadbury? Sounds like a winner. <laughs> Cadbury on Cadbury, yes, <laughs> and this is it, this is it, I mean, we've got, um, well, we've got, yeah, we've got loads of Cadbury ones, but I mean, it's the Nestle ones we're going to have two of, we're just going to open one of the, I could open one of the other things, but I think five eggs is enough, I think, yeah, if I do more than that, you know, well, it's, yeah, who knows, <laughs> a few years back, they stopped putting the chocolates inside the eggs, but come back in fashion again, it used to be in the old days, yeah, I'd, it really annoyed me when they stopped it, because it was, it was so nice for them to do, yeah, every time I see gold foil, I think of Willy Wonka, yeah, I do. Uh, I do like. I must say, I do like the. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's something special when everything's something. Something's wrapped in foil. It always is a bit special. It has to be said. <laughs> uh, especially in gold foil, I guess as well. So here's the smartest one. So there's nothing else in it. So it's heavy. It's just heavier. And here's the. Where's the? So you can see it's just a bigger egg, slightly bigger. Um, but there's nothing in the Milky Bar one. There's nothing in that one. So yeah, I feel. You, I feel like you could get a Milky Bar one with Milky Bar buttons in. Maybe that was more expensive. Let's just have a quick look at, uh, let's see, yeah. Razda's website. Let's have a quick, that's where I bought them from. Let's have a look. Um, Easter egg on the old, not sponsored by Asda, by the way. It could be any supermarket. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so 125, Milky Bar. Yeah, I feel like there was another one, but I can't. Well, it's not appeared if there was one, basically, on the uh, the brief. Uh, <laughs> On the uh, the main page of just typing in Easter eggs, I don't know if there is actually. But maybe there is one you can get, but it's not on the on the um, on the website though. But yeah, to buy a pack of uh, Milky Bar um, mini eggs, it's one pound twenty five. So it's the same cost as the eggs as this egg, eighty grams, and this one's sixty five. So you do get slightly better value for money in that case actually. There we go. Wow, there's an extra egg. You get your money's worth. <laughs> extra well, exactly. This is it. All of them, bar the Milky Bar one and the... Well, say all of them. Two of them. <laughs> well, basically, all the Cadbury ones have something inside. Feels quite full. I mean, listen to that. And then the Smarties one. Not bad at all. But the rest of them are empty. So, you know, so you got the... 
Yeah, that's why they probably weigh less, really. It's not too too bad. Good selection. We can see here, quite pleased with the fact that the, uh, I mean, there are different sizes though, but the Monkey Bar one, different wrapper, different colour gold foil, I think you'd say. I actually prefer this gold, I think, for me. My taste, personally. He's got the Kinnerton one. So the Kinnerton one's probably the smallest so far. I'll see if I can show you them all roughly at once. Uh, you can see the smartest one's probably the biggest, but again, yeah, it was said to be 100 and thingy grams. I think that is the same price as the others. So, yeah, 125. So probably the best value for money is the smartest one, assuming you like smarties. So the, uh, yeah, and the Kinnerton one. Well, you do get that extra bar in the Kinnerton, which is separate, but I don't think that's much of muchness. Not much of a muchness, really. Um, and there we go there. So, yeah. Not too, too bad. Pretty good. Pennies are all pretty nice. I say, I think, the, I think for me though, I reckon the uh, the cabbage ones, I think, have the really lovely packaging, you know. Um, I mean, let's just let's just open a feather as well. Why not? Let's just let's do it. <laughs> let's we'll see what's in the inside. Well, probably won't taste it. It'll be the same as the other ones. But there we go. Here's Freddo. It feels really full actually. I mean, it's not you've not got like one or two in them. You know, on the picture, it's got that many. Well, there might be that many, but it feels like there's actually more in there. It feels really full. And I'm shaking it about. Um, lovely packaging as well, the Freddo one. They're all in the Lockhart's a big fan of Freddo's. who would be into this one, I think. And the Freddo faces inside the egg. Now, the egg, of course, is a bit... Um, I don't know. It's a bit flatter than I would like it to be. I feel like the Smarties one is a better shape egg. It is a bit bigger, but it's just a better... It looks more like an egg shape. So I quite like that. I think all the others generally are quite good. They're all different different types of eggs. I don't know what different birds lay what eggs, but there we go. <laughs> well dinosaur eggs you could even say, couldn't you? Mm. But yeah, quite big. Maybe big enough. So there we go. So also the foiling on the uh I must say it's all different on the Cadbury's ones, you know, which is quite nice. Quite like that. Nice different foiling, it's not just generic foiling. I mean, you can even see through the window as well for the cabby white one. It's got different, we've got like a penguin on it. <laughs> and the uh, the nibbles one as well, caramel nibbles. These are all 125. I mean, I think these cabby ones are actually really good value for money. I must say, I'm very, with, without even going into them, I feel like that you're already getting pretty good value for money on these ones, actually. So I'm quite happy with what you're getting these this year. I don't know if it's been like this in previous years particularly, but yeah. Chocolate frogs are just as good as chocolate bunnies. Well, there you go. <laughs> It's basically a Cadbury's sort of mascot, I think you'd say, Freddo these days, is the gist of it, so yeah. So it's not bad, actually, it's not bad at all. So how do we open these, then? What's your technique for opening them? Yeah, do you just do a sort of smash and grab affair, or do you... <laughs> I don't know where to start with these, where, where do we start? I'll tell you what we'll do... Ooh, I don't know. I don't even know whether... I'm not... I don't think it's a good, I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm going to measure these particularly. Normally I measure everything every week, don't I? You know, I don't know if I'll do it really. I feel like we just want to get into them, but I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I will, maybe I won't, we'll see. Let's open the Kinnerton one first. Let's see that, see what it looks like. So let's give it a open. I'm not going to, maybe I should zoom down, should I zoom down? We'll see how it goes, I'll put on the other camera. See what it looks like. There we go, open's quite nice. Let's put that to one side somewhere. So you can see the egg here. This is what I mean. I'm going to lift it up. You see, I'm not sure it's worth me doing that. So I'll just walk you this way for a bit. So a bit of boring design. I'm not too keen on that. It looks a bit like a soap design. And even then, I'm not sure if it's a very good soap design, if that was on my soap. It reminds me of, I don't know, these seashell soaps you used to get in the 80s or whatever. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's nothing in it, as I say. Nothing in it at all. Let's have a look at the bar. This is what you get. So I think this is very unexciting as well. You know, it's a very generic bar. It doesn't say... Pepper pig on it, or have a pig on it, or anything. It's just very, a bit mundane. That I think, as a kid, would I prefer that, or would I prefer this? <laughs> I think I'd prefer the. I mean, new ones. Pepper pig. It's branded Pepper pig. I guess if I love Pepper pig, you know, like Adriano was saying, you know, if you like Pepper pig, maybe. But on the inside, I think it's very disappointing. Really, I think I don't think it's that interesting at all. I say there are um, hey Dougie ones, and and then what's the possible one? Paw Patrol, I think. Let's have a quick look at uh, the height of this one. I said, I don't know if I'm going to go overboard on the measurements this year, this this week's. 8.7 there. And the diameter. 6.3. Okay, roughly. <laughs> All right. So we do have the one we're going to have to... Now we'll open the... Um, let's try the old uh, 
<laughs> you're gonna have trouble, aren't you? Now the one thing with this is it's all sealed as well, which I noticed, which I'm not, I don't know if I quite like it or not really. It looks a bit like one of those, uh, you know, if you got like one of those, I think it's like, uh, is it one of those Kinder products, I think? Yes, it looks like a seashell, it does a bit exactly, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well, Adriana, yes. <laughs> Caramel's your favourite Easter egg. Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> a Telegram's egg would have been quite appealing back in the day. This is it. Well, maybe, I wonder if they, they probably do, um, yes, they probably do um, Teletubbies ones as well. I'm sure they did do. After, yeah, I'm sure they did. Good to meet you, Marge. Good to meet you. How are you doing? Hope you're doing all right. Yes, good to see you. <laughs> right, let's give this one a bit of an open then. Let's have a see. Uh, oop, let's have a look. We'll just compare them. I guess I'm going to have to rip it, unfortunately, because it's sealed. Let's have a look. But this one automatically looks pretty good, I must say. A nice design, it's got a lovely Cadbury swirl on it. Yeah. It smells of dairy milk as well, I would definitely say that's a dairy milk. Well, does it label itself as dairy milk? Mm -hmm. Drop another box away. It does. It smells of dairy milk as well, which is really nice. Yes, very nice indeed. Yeah, it looks very nice. But you can see it's a lot bigger than the other one. It's quite, oh, do you know, don't, they've not got the Kinnerton on here at least, have they? You know what I mean? So they could have at least done that. I don't know how far I'm going to go with this measuring. I mean, <laughs> I feel like I need to do it now, don't I? But uh, all right, eleven point four centimeters there. The width six point three, six point four. That's seven on either side. So it's a bit of a thinner egg that one. Hmm, that's all worse. Yes. Is the snow still strong in the UK? No, I think it's died down a bit, you know. I think it's died down a bit, to be honest with you. Not had any uh, this week, I don't think. Well, it's, where I, it's never really was that strong where I was anyway, to be honest with you, Jow. So it's been... <laughs> we don't have it really here. But I think it was a bit in some places. But I think it's all pretty much gone for now. Gone for now. What's your favourite Easter egg? I'm not too sure. I like ones with bits in, generally, as in um, bits in the egg itself. So any of those intend to be my favourites. But I don't specifically have a favourite one, I don't think, at the moment. I don't know if I've ever had a favourite in the past, I'm not sure. Yes. Oh, it's the show. Sorry, I... I uh... <laughs> Sorry, Joe, I auto-corrected there, didn't I? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think so. I think so. I, I think it still is around, if that makes sense. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Joe, to be honest. I think it's still known. I assume it... Potentially is, but I don't know to what extent, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right, yeah, so not bad, not bad. Now, hello, Rick. Great to see you. Yes, great to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Easter time. We're doing lots of Easter shenanigans today. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Not bad at all. Yeah, how are you doing, Rick? How are you doing today? Reese's eggs are always good. Along with Cabri Cream Egg. Yeah, they're all, yeah, they are nice, though, as I was saying. Rick's a big fan of cream eggs. You know, he bought about five million of them once. So you're automatically Rick's friend, I think, if you like cream eggs. That's for sure, Adriana. <laughs> hey, Andy, you're currently in the gym. Ah, so you won't be able to uh, watch you up. But basically, won't be able to watch this properly until later. Oh, no worries, Andy. Well, I hope you're well. Good to see you keeping healthy. That's good. Hope it's going well. Or are you eating chocolate at the same time? <laughs> but good to see your mind's in the right place, I think. That's definitely for sure. Easter eggs are ridiculously expensive. They can be, but these ones are £1.25 each. They're not too bad. They're not too, too bad. Yes. Uh, I couldn't miss this one. Going to bed soon. 1.30am. Yeah, I know. Honestly, you're doing well to keep up. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for turning up. Always great to see you. <laughs> oh, well, your mum would pass them out to me and your brother. That's very sweet. I remember I um, had loads. I mean, I've done this once in the past. I was talking about... Um, uh, chocolate, I guess. I think I tried to keep them as long as I could and I kept them for some reason in my mum's bedroom, I don't know why. Basically, I left about a month and then when I came to eat them, my mum had all the best bits of all the little chocolates inside and stuff. So there we go. <laughs> I want to make sure you give a good Nestle versus Cabby comparison. I'm hoping Nestle Choc tastes like Yorkie. Chocolate for after gym. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Yorkie. That's a good, good bar for after the gym, I must say. <laughs> Collar shirt, today must be a date now. I know I had to venture into the unknown today. I had to go outside the house. That's what happened, you see. Yeah, but there we go. Yeah, I know. Don't normally wear a collar, do I? I know, honestly. I'm making the effort for Easter. What can I say? <laughs> All right, so let's have a look. I can't remember. I think this is the this is the Nestle Milky Bar eggs. Let's give this one a bit of an open. I'll open this up here. That's very nice. Yeah. So, do you know, it's always the typical Nestle design, this one. But it looks, uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah. 
Mm. Smells of Milky Bar, as you'd expect. And again, you can see it compared to the Cadbury size. It's not as a, uh, it's a bit, it feels a bit more egg shaped, ironically enough. The Cadbury one does look a bit weird. I don't, you know, it looks nice, but it sort of like it's been sealed together too much. It looks a bit too industrial, I think, in some respects. Whereas I quite like just this typical egg look, you know. And then the Smarties ones, give this one a bit of an open. Again, you see it's got that same design, but just a bit bigger, basically. But bear in mind, these are all the same price, um, basically, other than the M&S one. I'll give, give those a quick measure, if I can find where I put the calipers. So much stuff all over the place here, I do apologise. But so This is more for people to compare after the event, or whatever, if they want to. It's roughly about 12 centimetres, this one. About 1.7.4, 7.5 in width there. This side here, 7.5 again. Hmm, not bad. Then the MS one, which is the most expensive one, maybe about 25p. Um, but it is MS. <laughs> if it's better chocolate, I don't know. I quite like the way the, uh, if you can quite make out, the foil has like a little yellow seam around the edge, I quite like. I quite make that out. It's just a little touch, but I quite like that. <laughs> I don't think it's meant to be anything there for any reason specifically. It's just the top of it, but there we go. But it is there. Okay. Well, here you go. Interesting. Look at this. It looks very, I don't know, it looks very similar to the uh, Kinnerton design. I don't know where, uh, it's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. Makes you wonder. Different shade, though, by the looks of it, just slightly. But, uh, hmm, interesting. It's just slightly bigger, but exactly the same design. What do you make of that, then, everyone? What do you make of that? Now, it's only 25p difference, so, you know, I think, but well, obviously, you do get the... Uh, the bar with that one. And what was the weight of the 75 grams for the um, what's it called? Uh, MS one. There's the uh, Pepper Pig one, the Kinnerton one with 62 grams. So the uh, so overall you do get more in the in the MS one. So for sure. Pop the collar to like a college prep. Yeah, see like that. You see. <laughs> Don't feel stale. Actually, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, yeah. Well, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do, it, I've got some semi smart, I guess semi smart. <laughs> Good old white chocolate, you can't go wrong. Yeah, Andrew's a big fan of the white chocolate. If he's still about, he was here a minute ago. Like a turtle shell, yeah, turtle. We don't like. Yeah, you could uh, could play a teenage mutant hero Ninja Turtles, couldn't you, if you wanted to, or Hero Turtles as it was back in my day. Yeah, see. So <laughs> Although you have to snap it just right. I'd love to see these eggs fully filled. Well, this is it, Rick. This is it. So we'll have a look at this one here. The Cadbury ones uh, and the Nestle Smarty one do have stuff in. Yes, so not bad. I think you can get a mini egg one as well, cream egg um, Easter egg for the same price as well. No, it's £3, a bit more expensive actually, that one. All right, so where do we start? Where do we start? I mean, goodness me. And how do we start as well? <laughs> I think the... Uh, let's compare the Kinnerton to the M&S one, shall we? I think that's they look to be almost exactly the same. Let's see if they are the same. So we're going to have to break these. It's never a nice thing to break an egg. Um, but it has to be done, doesn't it? I can't, I've, got, I've got no room. <laughs> I'll put that one down there. Okay. All right. So good. What, what my advice generally is to do is, um, is a good way is to smash them when they're still in the foil. It's usually a good way of doing it because then it doesn't go everywhere. But obviously I've taken them out of the foil now. We're going to have trouble. Big, big, big calamity here going on, I think. Um, yes. You mean 100% solid chocolate filling, I see. <laughs> So it's literally just a solid egg, like a brick. That would be quite good. I was thinking this. They did do it in one um, egg, sort of. But I was thinking, because it'd be, other than like, you're nah, trying to nibble it, it'd be very difficult to eat. But they did do it in um, in one egg somewhere where it was technically solid, but they chopped it into cubes or segments. So basically, it was a solid egg, but it was all, you could pick different segments out, which is probably the way to do it without having causing loads of trouble. The more chocolate, the better. Well, this is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> I think that's something we could definitely all agree on for sure. All right. Well, sorry, sorry, uh, Peppa Pig. Gonna have to uh, break your egg. Let's see. Oh, if I can. <laughs> Apologies for the sound. It's not breaking. Look at that. Um. Oh, you know. There we go. Okay. Right. <laughs> all right. So there we go. So it's smashed apart. So oh, I do do apologise. Let's give it a bit of a t well. Let's have a look at it. It looks quite nice. There's loads of eggs here. It's not bad. It's got a sort of. It does look a bit 
sort of a bit budgety from the look at it. It's quite thick, you no know, massively thick places. I think one bit's quite thick there, which is quite nice, always the best bits. Let's give it a bit of a taste. Hmm. It's definitely that sort of cheaper, chocolatey uh, sort of taste, but it's not bad, you know, I don't mind it. Especially in little bits like that. Hmm. It's not too, too bad. Not too bad, actually, that one. Hi, QP, great to see you. Yes, good to see you, QP. It's been a while in the, in the uh, well, in the live chats, at least. Yeah, how are you doing, QP? How's things going? Where are you up to, where, where are you, what are you up to today? Strong, yeah, it was a strong egg, that's for sure. Resisted a bit of impact there. I think maybe because it was like a real egg. You know, and you can't break them when you hit them on a certain way, or whatever it is. <laughs> maybe the math was against me. Yeah. Yes. Looks like the chocolate of a Wonder Ball. What's a Wonder Ball, then? I don't know what that is, Adriana. What's that? Yeah. Oh, did you see the UK article where I got it? Well, £10,000 half-half egg. Not sure how long ago that was. £10,000. Goodness me. I mean, did he survive? <laughs> did he survive? Did he survive? Yeah, that, that, I mean, you know. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you, QP. I'm not doing too bad at all. Not doing too bad. Well, have you missed much? Well, um, basically, we're just doing different Easter eggs. There's budget ones. All of these cost £1.25, other than the Marks and Spencer one, which cost £1.50. Um... Mark Spencer one looks suspiciously like the Kinnerton one um, in the same design. It's slightly bigger though. And we've got um, Cabby ones which are full dairy milk as well and it smells uh, nice. It's full of Freddo faces this one. Got the uh, Smarties one full of mini Smarties or Smarties. And just a plain um, Milky Bar one which is actually the same price as the others but it's just nothing in it which is a bit of a shame. A bit of a con actually I think. Um, all right, let's try the uh, <laughs> let's try the M and S one. See what it's uh, see what it yeah. See if it's any different in taste. I'm gonna <laughs> let's see. See if I can smash it. Okay, there we go. So you can see it's a bit soft. Now a lot thicker to start with. You can see it's a lot thicker. Not massively thicker, but it's thicker than the Kinnerton one in places anyway. Just because it's bigger though. All right, smells different. I think. Hmm, how does it taste? Hmm. Yeah. It's a different chocolate. It's the same design, but it's definitely a different chocolate. Hmm. It tastes a bit, um, a bit more creamy. That's the Kinson one I'm back on. Hmm. Hmm. It does taste, um, the Kinnerton one definitely tastes of that typical cheap chocolate taste, but it doesn't taste bad actually, I don't mind it, I don't mind it. Um, and the m one, one, just a bit more of a creamy, Belgian-y, chocolatey style taste, I think you'd say. Hmm. It's just slightly different, hmm. I don't know, I'm having back and forth between them both, can get a bit confusing. I mean the Kinnerton one is actually not too, too bad, you know. I think um, whether I'll, whether I might rate them all at the end. Maybe, maybe I'll rate them all at the end. We'll see. I'll, I'll look at them all individually and rate them at the end. Cadbury egg, British pounds. Goodness me, ten thousand. That is. I mean, that, <laughs> you must see. You can't. You can't have survived that, surely. Yes. Should have been clear. Oh, is it ten thousand pounds? In the the price was ten thousand pounds. Or was it? Um, oh, the weight. I thought it was the weight. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I think I see. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> what was it? What was it? Half and half, half then? If it was ten thousand pounds in price, a Wonder Ball is a chocolate ball full of candy with a toy at the bottom of the box. They recently had a Space Jam theme. All right, so it's a bit similar to the Kinder, Kinder Surprise ones we have here. Similar-ish. They have like a little toy inside. But yeah, that sounds interesting. Hmm. That sounds quite good fun. That. <laughs> ah, okay, for special limited eggs. What? 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 Who was it then? Was it the um, cream egg half and half one? Then was it from like? Um, from the year when he did a special one a year ago. If it's made by the same people, I'm going to be slightly different but similar. Yeah, I see, okay. Right. Yeah, this is, they might have just used, well, it's a typical mould, but maybe, yeah, in the same factory, they've got different kinds, but yeah. Ah, right, the prize was 10. Oh, we actually, yeah, right, I get you now, Rick. Sorry, Rick, I understand. He actually found the egg, and did he actually eat it rather than uh, claiming the prize? Yeah, see, so yeah, last year they did that. Uh, I think this year they, I don't know if they've still done it actually, but they, they actually released the Cadbury White Egg, not a half and half one, just a regular one, as you know. All right, quite interesting so far then, quite interesting. I'll try and keep these somehow separate. I don't know how, but I'll try. 
Right, so let's try the uh, milky bar one then. Give it a bit of a measure first if I find where. Oh, I'll just keep disappearing. Oh, there they are. Okay. But, uh, so much going on today, can't I? <laughs> the place is a bit of a mess. I might have cleaned up in a second. Right, so white chocolate this time, of course. Every uh, Milky Bar, Nestle Milky Bar, 10.1 centimeters in height. I think the Nestle design generally looks quite nice, 6.7 in width, but uh, 6.8 this time. But uh, it is a bit plain, I think you'd say. It's obviously a typical design. Let's just try moving some of this chocolate crumb away. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Goodness me. Need to get a new uh, white mat as well. All right. Okay. Right. So we're going to wear. Uh, yeah, you know, we're going to cause havoc again. <laughs> I think so. His friend told him about it after he ate it. I say, goodness me. Well, no, no. Did he? <laughs> did he spend no before? A bit harsh. If that was the case. Yes. I went to the Cadbury's Cadbury World yesterday. How did you find it, QPO? I went there about ten years ago. I think it was. And I was a bit. I didn't mind it, but I was a bit disappointed because I think I think I got like a Cadbury's Marvelous Creations bar as a, you know, for, as a freebie or something wandering about, but. The, wasn't a load there really that I was expecting. I think I was expecting to basically be able to swim in chocolate and stuff like that, but it didn't quite happen, you know. Yes, you don't like chocolate, uh, uh, cabbage chocolate too much. Hi there, Jay, by the way, and and and, and blue the parrot perhaps as well. Yes, <laughs> hope you're doing okay. Um, you don't like um well, well, some people don't. You know, what's your favorite chocolate then? What's your favorite? Yes, the chocolate lover, but not Cadbury's. Yeah, what's your favorite type then? You're more of a Nestle fan, or just. Maybe other time, maybe a bit more upmarket. Yes. It was very commercialised, more for kids. Ah, okay, was it? Yeah, when I went there, I don't know. Was it more for kids? I don't know. I can't. I feel like there just wasn't. Maybe I went to a bad time. I didn't feel like there was that much there when I went there. You know, it was a bit disappointing. Yeah, we got three free chocolates. Oh, I think I only got one when I. Maybe I need to go again then. Maybe I need to go again. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I went at the wrong time. Maybe I went when they were, I don't know, just been took over by Mondelez or something like that. You know. You like the green and black smoked chocolate flavour? I eat 90 grams of chocolate a day. Goodness me, that's well. <laughs> green and blacks is nice. It's Cadbury though, green and blacks, you know. It is Cadbury, green and blacks. It's the Cadbury's posh brand, yeah. So, yeah, obviously it's not the same as regular Cadbury. But there we go. But yeah, 90 grams a day, why not? Why not? Or is it Cadbury? Well, you know, it's their posh brand, you know. It's not the same. It's not the, I know it's not the same as Cadbury Cadbury, you know. They, they have, as far as I know anyway, it's a different recipe. But yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's their posh brand, basically. Unless I, I mean, I did look at it ages ago, so maybe I've checked that. I could be wrong on that, but I'm sure that was the case. Yeah, but it's not the same chocolate. I'm not trying to imply that uh, it's a different recipe and things. Well, at least I've not noticed it being the same anyway, and I'm sure you haven't either. Yeah. Why does every Nestle port that is uh, chocolate have something in the uh, in the back that says Nestle Cocoa Plant? Well, they all try and um, basically try and be environmentally friendly these days and, and also help out you know, farmers and their communities and things like that so Nestle have got the cocoa plan Cadbury have got cocoa life and there's generally the um, rainforest was it rainforest alliance as well which I think it works you know is either associated with those plans or is separate as well doing the same thing so yeah so basically it's just to try and be sustainable I think and help show that they're not ripping off farmers or you know people who grow the actual cocoa thing and stuff like that basically and also back in the day Nestle were we're notorious for not um, supporting fair trade as well, so I think they make a big thing of it now. Going to Google, Mondo's International, yeah, that's uh, they basically own Cadbury, uh, Milka, all those other brands, basically, yeah. So you know they own all those all those companies, but yeah, Cadbury and uh, Milka, they're two of their big brands, but it's essentially still Cadbury. You know, it's a subsidiary of Cadbury. I don't know, it's Cadbury essentially, just a their own upmarket name, yeah. Oh, it makes sense, and that's gener That's generous of them. Yes, well, it's a marketing thing, isn't it? I'm sure they didn't have to do it. I'm sure they wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, and as a budget bar, I love Galaxy. 350 grand bar in the cupboard is pretty nice, Gal. I must say, Galaxy is really nice, actually. I'm not a massive fan of sort of more milky, creamy chocolate, belgian type chocolate generally, but Galaxy really works for me. Yeah, I do like it. It's amazing how all the big brands almost are now. There's a, there was a big thing when Mondelez took over Cadbury because they, they started um, you know, getting rid of a lot of their stuff, basically, their best brands. Well, they seem to anyway, which was a shame. But you're not a fan of dark chocolates? Yeah, I don't, I don't mind dark chocolate. In, 
in some instances, you know, it has to be the right cocoa soy percentage for me. You know, not too dry. And some of them are quite, some of them are nice, but some of them, yeah, it, it depends on which one you have, I think, you know. But we're even about to do a dark chocolate, you're not a fan of those ones. So what's my favourite chocolate? Well, I have quite a few favourites, yeah, Marge, what's my... Uh, so not Marge, a Jade. Let's go for you. Matt, see names today, what is going on with me today? I can't... Going crazy, yeah. <laughs> so you're Marge from before, we came in before. Um... My favourite brand, I don't know actually, I quite like all sorts. I quite like Cadbury Dairy Milk, I think it's really nice. I know you probably don't like it, but I do like it. I like Galaxy. But generally my favourite bar, there's many bars I've really liked. But I've always liked um, Phaser, a, a Finnish company. I always mention them. They always do lots of nice, they have a lovely sort of base milk chocolate anyway. Uh, and they have a really nice um, set of flavours as well. Really lovely stuff. Really lovely stuff, yeah. My budget chocolate is mostly Crunch Bars, Reese's and Hershey Cookies and Cream. Yeah, what about you then, Jade? What's your favourite? Yeah, uh, Phaser it's called, so it's F-A-Z-E-R. And they, they do, uh, they used to do shipping to the UK quite well. You can barely find them in the UK, but I did have a friend who uh, lived in Finland who sent me some, and that's how I got addicted to it, and I really like it, you know. Yeah. All right, let's give this one a bit of a smash. Okay, so you can see it's a bit... Uh, <laughs> well, look, well, what I do like about this one, actually, is you can see it's got this... Ridge around it there, which I quite like. Just adds to the chocolate experience. You kind of see it uh, on the other side a bit there. It's like a sort of cartouche, would you say? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> which I quite like, so it just adds a bit of thickness to it. Maybe a bit of structure, I don't know. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Some white chocolate I'm not a big fan of. You know, it can be a bit catchy in the throaty. I wasn't a big fan of the Nestle... Milky Bar Gold, they did. I thought it was. I thought it was pretty poor, actually. But general Nestle Milky Bar is such a lovely white chocolate. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Very nice. It's lovely, actually. Lovely white chocolate. That goodness me. Yeah. I could eat that quite a lot. <laughs> Very nice white chocolate. I don't know if everyone is. If you're a fan of white chocolate, Jade, and everyone else as well. But there we go. Green and Black's milk chocolate at the moment. Are they various, did they do different kinds of milk chocolate? I thought they did a few different ones. I know there's the, the generic blue one. Um, yes, so the new Gone Boy, just, yeah, just mentioned actually. I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. I think Andrew Winton on the channel really liked it. And I thought it was very, wasn't, I wasn't a big fan. It tasted very powdery, very flavoured. I wasn't a big fan of it. Wasn't a big fan. Yeah. Gold chocolate can be boringly basic. Yeah, I think I, can't, I don't mind some of it. It just depends, but I don't mind some of it, you know. But I think it's just like all, it's almost a bit like most chocolate can can kind of be that way. It depends how it goes, I guess. It depends how it goes. It's like uh, blonde chocolate too, yeah. Um, I'm a fan of it. Yeah, the gold chocolate, it depends how you do it really, because gold chocolate could be that sort of caramac affair. And again, that could be, yes, there's a very much a sort of loving for it um, in the UK because of the McVitie's gold bar back in the day, yeah. Like white chocolate as well. Good, good taste there. Generic blue, yes, I thought so. Yeah, that they think it's quite it is quite nice that one. It is quite nice. But the gold bar, well let me know what you think when you have it, Jade. But um maybe even blue the parrot might have it, but yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, it's uh, I wasn't a big fan, but as I say um, some people might like it, but I I wasn't a big fan. Yeah, I suppose it's supposed to making the blonde chocolate. Blonde generally I quite like actually, but some are better than others, yes. But I think generally the concept is quite nice, although there's different vari variations of it, you know. So it's one of those. All right. So let's have a sort of, uh, which one should we open now? Let's do the, let's do the smartest one, shall we? This is the biggest egg. This is probably the one you get most value for money for. It's got the most weightage, this, that and the other. Um, I think it does look a good one. Let's give it a bit of a, a bit of a smash. Be careful we don't get mini smarties, everyone with smarties. Maybe. Is it mini smarties or smarties? Let's have a look what it says. I'm hoping it's uh, regular smarties. What does it say? Milk chocolate egg containing smarties. So there we go. It doesn't say mini smarties. There we go. I haven't really gone over the uh, cocoa solids and things like that in these eggs. Maybe I should have done. Maybe I should have done. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. But maybe we're just going for the maybe I'll come back to it in a bit. We'll just do a quick summary of them at the end. There we go. Yes, so you will do. Well, yes, I'm by the way, I'm new to the channel. How often do you go live? Well, usually twice a week actually, yeah, Jay. Usually on Wednesdays for a sort of a stash watch. 
um, episode where I just talk about what I've bought this week or what I've got to review in the coming week or so, stuff like that. And then the Saturday we do like a live review as well. Where I just look at some special, well, things like this really. It could be various, it could be random stuff, it could be a themed around this one, which is like Easter eggs, or it could be themed around a particular country or something like that. Yeah, so, hmm. Do a few different, uh, few different things, really. But yeah, twice a week, generally. Generally. <laughs> All right, let's give this one a... Let's see, can I get into it? Can we do it? should get my rolling pin out, shouldn't I? should have done that with it, right? Okay. Luckily, it's a bit warm because of the lights in here today. So we've uh, not had too much trouble. It just... Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you can see in there, that's how much you get. Don't get too much, then. Felt like you got more than you did. Yeah, you know, let's pour them out. But they are... Big Smarties, which I quite like, but that's it. It's just all that's left in there is a bit of egg. Not too, too much in there. A bit disappointing, you might say. I mean, how many Smarties have we got? You know, <laughs> let's have a look. It's better than nothing, but you didn't get much. Not as much as I would have hoped, but the weightage again for this egg was quite high. It was the highest, it was 119 grams, was it, or something? And the others were about, um, the caviar ones were 90-odd, 90 98, 96 to 98, 99. So you got about 18, uh, 18 Smarties there, so not too, too bad. And does the egg taste uh, particularly nice? It's, uh, well, we've got the, we don't have the, uh, don't have that sort of cartouche affair in this one, or whatever you'd say it was called on the inside, that frame. Let's see, is the egg nice? Let's have a, let's have a try. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Not too bad, actually, this one, not too, too bad. It's definitely Nestle eggs, um, Nestle chocolate. It's a bit sort of, um, it's a typical Nestle chocolate. You know, Andy was saying before he wanted a Yorkie egg. I mean, this is probably quite similar to what a Yorkie egg would be. Obviously, obviously it's not actually a Yorkie, you know, as in there's not chunks of it. But, hmm, it's very much um, Nestle ch milk chocolate, which isn't the best. But I think because it's quite thin, hmm, it does work out okay. Distribution of the, um... Colours of the smart isn't great, but I don't know if you can hold it against them. Other than the orange ones, they're not meant to taste any different. Although I feel like I feel like the orange ones does, but you know, could be a bit of a shame. It's just there. Hmm. Nice smart is nice. Um, nice crisp crunches to them. Quite a soft uh, sugar shell. I don't think it's as, as hard as um, some others have had, but I think it's um, you know, M&Ms or something like that. But hmm. I think the orange one tastes different. <laughs> yeah, it does a bit actually. It does taste different, the orange one. Hmm. Definitely does taste different. So it's a shame there's only one of those. But not bad. So I'll review them. I'll give them scores at the end, I think, when I've gone through them all. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Hmm. So, um, yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> hmm. Yes, if I didn't read the box, uh, there was mini chuck insides. I would choke. <laughs> no, I see. Yeah, you have to be careful, that's for sure. That's for, when you just say on some, it does give you a warning on some of them, so that's something. Yeah, also, yes, yeah, so it'd be good to see you in the other chats. Yeah, Jade, it'd be good to see you in those. But not much in there, I know, very much of a shame that, wasn't it? There was really um, a small amount in there, actually. It was good to see how many's in the Cadbury one then as well. I'll have a check of that one, you know, the Freddo faces. But yeah, that was disappointing. I know, I expected more in there, especially from hearing it rattle. It definitely sounded like there was more in there. Not keen on the Smarties now you're older. Yeah, not quite the same as they were when you were younger, but it's the case with a lot of those products, isn't it? But I do, you know, I still have a soft spot for them. <laughs> yes, I see the Fredo one on top of the left screen. Looks like uh, full of mini Fredo frogs. This is it. This is the one we're about to do now. Yes, good timing, that. Good timing. <laughs> there you go, yeah. <laughs> Great minds think alike there, Jade. <laughs> oh, they're marketed for kids. Um, yes. Okay. Hi there, Poppy, by the way. Great to see you. It's been been some time as well with you. Uh, good to see you, Poppy. What's the Easter egg situation like where you are? Have you got any uh, nice ones? They marketed to kids like Milky Way and Milky Bar. Hmm. This is it. This is it. They are a bit, you know, they are meant to be kids, aren't they? You know. <laughs> All right. So, definitely sounds like it's got a few in. We'll see how many it's got. Give the old smash. Okay. So, again, you can see it's quite warm. I'm getting warmer, I think, in here. You can see it's like just <laughs> folding away. But wow, I must say, look at that, this, I don't know if you can see, but there's not many in here either. You know, it sounded like there was more than that. But again, you know, you do get the uh, the weightage, but there's basically five of them in there. So again, it's a bit disappointing. But, you know, they all have the different faces, I guess, which is not too, too bad. 
can see different faces there. <laughs> I've seen that face more than my face. Yeah, so it's not bad. Unless if there were little mini Freddos, actually proper Freddos in there, wouldn't it? You know, even if it's just one, you know, yeah. Yeah, so I don't like Cabri, I just remember I like Freddos, I see. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> well, they are basically cabby those ones, yeah. So, but you know, Alan Lockhart, another of you on the channel, really loves Freddo's as well. So, maybe it's just one of those things. Freddo's just might work for some people, but it's basically dairy milk. The chocolate is soft, is it warm? Well, I am in a studio with lots of uh, lights on, it's not melting, but yeah, it's uh, it is a bit um, it's quite good. It means it snap a little, well, break a lot easier without going everywhere, but yeah, basically, it's quite warm. I've got all the lights on, all sorts going on, yes. To give you what you pay for, but not in a good way, well, it was only, I mean. You basically, it's 98 grams, you know, of chocolate. It's got something in it, I guess, yeah. It's a shame there's not more in it, but it's kind of, you know, I don't know what to say, really. It's one of those, isn't it, where the egg's the size it is and stuff like that. It might be, I don't know, yeah. You wish there was more in it. I think you'd hope there was more in it. But all right, let's give it a bit of a taste, a bit of a taste then. It's just a dairy milk egg. Mmm. Mmm. So a lovely... Obviously, if you don't like your dairy milk, I mean, you won't think this, but <laughs> lovely sort of velvety richness of dairy milk. Really nice, as always. Quite thin, I guess. The egg was quite thin, you know, but they're all a bit about like that. Let's give a bit of a nibble on these Freddos. Hmm. Again, they're a bit thicker, so you do get that sort of dairy milk fix from those being a bit thicker as well. Hmm. Yeah, very nice as well, that one. Very nice. Lovely, it's just like dairy milk chocolate egg basically. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, I don't think. Obviously, whether you might as well just get a dairy milk bar is another matter. I think you probably probably may as well. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, it's a neat it's a special, isn't it? Let's open this uh, mini eggs one. I don't think we'll. We'll just see how many mini eggs are in this one, shall we? And that's the basic reason I'm doing this. I'm not going to go into detail of it, it's just going to be the same as the Cadbury Feddo one for all intents and purposes. There we go. You can see it's the same, but as I say, I'm not, I won't go overboard. I think we've already looked into the one. Let's see. Okay. All right. And the eggs, how many eggs did we get? Yeah, I got, oof, I didn't get too many. <laughs> got seven eggs, basically. So you don't get many of them again. You know, you don't get many, basically. Is it, uh, is it dairy milk egg, this one? It's just not labelled as dairy milk. Hmm. Um. Is it dairy milk? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know if it is dairy milk. I mean, <laughs> I should know, shouldn't I? Um. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm quite sure it is dairy milk. I'm quite sure it is. Hmm. It tastes similar enough, and I can't see them doing different eggs for that. It does taste, not marked as dairy milk, but it does smell and taste a bit. But uh, I'm just worried now that because I've had so much eggs, <laughs> I'm worried I can just all blend into one. But uh, I have to be careful there, that's no problem. Yeah. Looks like a football, I say. <laughs> it's those seams around the edge, doesn't it? Those stitching looks like that. It does look like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You like dairy milk, you'd eat it, yes. Now, whether it be one for Jade, I don't know, but I'm glad you'd like it now, Joe. I'm glad you'd like it. <laughs> I've course, got the mini eggs, all these speckled eggs, these always look lovely. They have a, they have a bit of a specialness to them, these mini eggs, because they feel like a little powdery coating on them. Always very nice. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to see here. Yeah. Mm. I'm quite sure that's. Um, Hmm. I'm quite sure it's dairy milk that one. Let's say I've just had so many different chocolates now, but I'm quite sure because it doesn't taste distinctly different. I'm just a bit worried that I'm gonna say it's dairy milk and it's not, but I'm quite sure it is, you know, as sure as I can be really. Yes, there we go. <laughs> so what's your, your Easter egg situation like then, Jade? What have you got at the moment? And how's the market for these eggs? Are they giving us gifts or just bought to oneself? Well, usually giving us gifts to children, really, is the is the gist of it, Joe. But um you know, there are more indulgent ones you can get, you know, that you can buy. Still generally as gifts, like this one I've got. I'm not reviewing this today. So I'm just an extremely chocolatey one. 
You know, it cost, that cost about £10, that one. So a lot more. These are £1.25 each. These ones have been reviewed today, so relatively cheap. And there's this one here, this massive Kit Kat one. Incredible Egg, which is... Um, Again, I'm not reviewing this one, but that's probably about 10, 15 pounds, that one. So this one, it only weighs you know, 530, 556 grams. As all these ones I've reviewed today, well, the smarty one was 111 grams or something like that. Um, where's it gone? The smarties one. 119 grams. So you consider it's like a, less than a fifth, but uh, probably a tenth of the price almost, you know. <laughs> it's um, a lot, lot, you know, not bad at all, not bad at all. No Easter eggs at the moment. We have to get quick in there, quick there, Jay, because they'll all sell out very quickly. They'll, you'll, they'll just all go, basically. It's one of those. So all the best ones will all disappear. So you've got to get in there quick. Yeah. But it does look good. Uh, yeah, the big ones do look good. All right. I might keep the Kit Kat one to myself and not review it because sometimes, you know, sometimes you just want to sit down and enjoy the chocolate rather than having to review everything you eat. You know what I mean? So that's one I might just keep to myself. Um, hope it's a winner. Fingers crossed. They do look nice. I'm sure they will be. But yeah. Not a big, a fit, a big fan of Kit Kats. Ah, so I guess taste changes. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, you want to be, you know, you want to enjoy what you enjoy, don't you? There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I do quite. I mean, why I don't like it tends to be nutty things. Like I'm not a big fan of you know, hazelnuts and chocolate and things like that. But generally, a lot of chocolate I tend to be. I tend to. I mean, some I prefer over others. You know what I mean? Kit Kat chunkies I tend to like a lot. Um, but there are, you know, yeah, there's nothing wrong with not liking certain things for sure. I mean, you know, certainly nothing wrong with that. You know, <laughs> but yeah, as you say, tastes do change. That's an incredible egg. Yes, I know. This is a yeah, even bigger ones as well, and more expensive ones and things like this. But you know, yeah, some of where the line is, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, get on next week. Well, yeah, just say don't leave it too too long. You you know, all the best ones will go. I'm sure there's some green and black ones. You know, I'm sure of it. But yeah, exactly. You need to enjoy it for the calories as well. You don't want to be eating something that's not you know. Just like you're playing chocolate. Ah, okay, well, that's fair enough as well. You know, that's, that's not nothing wrong with that either. You know, I, as I say, I think that's, yeah, try the Carl Faser. It's called Faser Blue, actually, as well. Faser Blue chocolate. That's their, their, that's the sort of equivalent of their regular chocolate range. It's really nice, actually. Yeah, but I say it might cost a bit of money to get it because you can't really get it readily in the UK. But it's nice to try. You ever see it? Oh, by the way, do you think of ruby chocolate? Have you tried it? I got a free sample once. It was um, it was odd. Rather fruity. Yeah, it basically just tastes of sort of like flavoured white chocolate, really. It's okay. I'm not a massive... I could take or leave it, I think, as a gist. I think it's nice in the right situations, but um, I don't know. It's generally like a sort of raspberry or flavoured white chocolate, I've found. So I'm not... Which, you know, which I don't mind, but I'm not... You know, I don't love it either. So it's okay. I think it's nice that it exists, and I'm glad to see it you know, when it when it's about and things, but it seems to have not not quite took off the way I think it would hope to. You don't see it as much as you used to, you know. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Well if you do let me know. I'll say it won't be an easy one for you to get unfortunately. And I even me, you know, I would have to go out my way to get it. I I have had it in the past but quite some time ago. But the website it used to do reasonable chipping if you bought, you know, about six pounds or something. If you so if you bought, you know, Ten pounds worth of bars. It probably works out reasonably good value-ish. Yeah, I'm the same. Or oh, I take it or leave it. Yeah, this is it. It's, it's worth nice to have though. I think most chocolates are a bit like that. You know, the ones you're not too big a fan of. It's nice, but there's other things you'd rather have. So it's not that it's horrible. This is why generally I give a lot of chocolates three out of five because they're quite nice to have, um, but nothing special. But they're still nice, you know. But some things I've moved the threshold down, like biscuits. I've moved it to to the average to be two out of five, just because. You know, this <laughs> because I think the average biscuit is like a digestive, and this if you can't rate anything really lower than a three, that's you know not worse than a digestive. Well, there's not many biscuits are going to be worse than a digestive, so yeah. But yeah, let me know. Let me know. Phaser dot com probably. <laughs> Phaser dot com. Right, so I think we've gone through. We've done quite well, really. Gone through most of these. I mean, let's have a look at the gist of them. I think. Um, let me see. There are some other cabinet ones. I'm not going to go into these ones. Just because it's where to draw the line, I think. But there's like a white chocolate buttons one, cowbell nibbles one, you know. I think definitely that advertisement on the side is a bit of a false one for sure, isn't it? I think, you know, it looked quite promising, but um, certainly, yeah, I think there was five Freddos. No, that's not too, too bad, I guess, the five Freddos. What about the... Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, there's, yeah, I mean, what's there with these? Maybe it was about right. It just looks a bit more than there is I think but there was about that many I think actually so maybe it isn't too too bad 
they, you know, just they just look to be a bit bigger than they are. I think. I think the, uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's it's well arranged. I think to make it look bigger than it is. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's fair enough. Then I was saying it looks a bit like it might be false, but I don't think it is actually. Um, yeah. We we be removing any more another day. <laughs> Reviewing, sorry, I say. <laughs> yeah, we do some more eggs, basically. I think I'll be, I'm not sure if I'll be doing any live egg reviews. Maybe I might do a live hotel chocolat Easter egg actually. Um, but yeah, also just regular Easter products as well. I've got some like Easter eggs to not mini eggs to review. Some other Easter products like chocolate bunnies and things I've got. So I might be doing them in a live perhaps next week or something like that. Yeah, so it's probably going to be a load of Easter ones between now and Easter basically. So yes. So, but they'll be similar but different, basically. Just talking, looking at the Hotel Chocolat website. Is there chocolate any good? It's nice, just expensive. Um, I don't know if it's worth the money particularly. I'm not sure. Some things are really nice there, but I don't know. It's like these ones, you know, as I say, these are all 125 and they're very nice, really, you know, for what they are. And um, whether they're, you know, and it's, I, I feel like um not sure that they're any worse than the uh, £10 ones, other than the fact that you, you know, you perhaps get pound for pound. As in weighted wise, you know, probably more value for money. Yeah, chuckle out how he's, but yeah, exactly, yes. <laughs> I know what you mean. No, don't worry, I knew what you meant, yeah. <laughs> right, so I think I'll have a quick, uh, I don't know, let's have a quick, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's worth looking into the side. 25% um, cocoa solids, milk size 4% minimum. Yeah, it's not too, too bad, that one, I think. The cabbie one here, the spreader one. Yes, cocoa milk chocolates, uh, twenty one percent. And milk chocolates, okay, that's not the thing, isn't it? Yeah, twenty three percent. Um, milk size twenty percent. Uh, actual twenty three percent. Cocoa size twenty percent minimum. So yeah, that's twenty twenty five percent minimum cocoa size of this one. Hmm. Milk size fourteen percent. Twenty five and fourteen. The Fredo one. Uh, 20 and tw uh, 20 and 20 mm, okay 23 and 20 so probably a bit more uh, cocoa stuff in the uh, the cabbage one actually than the smarties one yeah mm, interesting that well cocoa solids is about less but the milk solids is more so mm, more of a milky chocolate i think in the cabbage one never tastes a bit more velvety yeah interesting um i just say in the, the kinnerton one what it is Yeah, cocoa size twenty six percent minimum, milk size twenty seven percent minimum. So a lot more milky and a lot more cocoa. -y. So interesting, definitely different. Yeah, obviously the M and S one we couldn't say. So I think for me the gist of it is I think the um, the Kinder one and the M and S one I think they were both quite similar. M and S one was a bit more expensive really. I think the Kinder one though wasn't too too bad. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it was okay. I think it was nice. Not not too bad. You get like a block of chocolate, you know, which was reasonable. <laughs> Hmm. Again, that's a sort of cheaper chocolatey taste, but I felt like in the egg it worked quite well. In the bar it tastes a bit, for some reason, I don't know, it tastes a bit too cheap, but the egg wasn't actually too, too bad, even though it was a bit of a cheaper taste. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's just because it was a bit thinner, I'm not sure, but hmm. Let's say, you do get the least value for money in this one, though. Um, you know, it's very, it's very light. 62 grams, so you get basically like 50% more in the Cadbury's ones. Um, you know, a bit more in the in the MS ones. So I think for me that one it's okay, but I think value for money wise it just pops pops it down a bit. So I think it's probably yeah, it's alright. I think the packaging looks good for kids and everything, but I think it's just deceptive, you know, for how much you get for it. So I think it's probably probably two and a half out of five for that one. The chocolate's not bad actually, but I think the value for money is what brings it down. I'm taking value for money into account in this one just because we're comparing all these ones. We're specifically talking about the fact that the budget ones. So the Kinner one, or Kinnerton one, <laughs> uh, the Pepper Pig one, then this will be the same for the Hey Dougie one and the Paw Patrol one as well. The same just a bit really, sort of generic chocolate. About two and a half out of five for that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not spending £30 on an Easter egg. Yes, I'll spend £10, give or take. Yeah, well, that's it. For the channel, I can do it, you know, because I sort of can review them on the channel, but I wouldn't really do that for myself. Yeah. So the same changes uh, with your palette. It's a bit of a funny one, isn't it, that? But then I guess if you like other things, you know, hmm. But yeah, it is a bit of a shame. Maybe just, I don't know, I must admit that I'm, I'm 
just like savory food wise i do like a lot of different things than i used to it's very strange yeah yeah kind of true i guess yeah suppose if both of you by the way i do do a discord channel if you fancy if you see you'll see chat the night bot um, popping up every now and again yeah uh, talk about discord here's an example here so if you fancy having a chat on discord with everyone else who's in the channel qp's there scotty's there as well a few times and um, myself's there andrew's there as well you know if you fancy doing that feel free to check the links in the description as well you don't need to copy that down but be good to see you there good to see you both there jade and uh, adriana is Smarties owned by Cadbury? No, they're Nestle Smarties. Yeah, so different. Yeah, so they're not. They are separate. They are separate. <laughs> oh, there you go. I think yeah, Adriano already answered that one. Yeah. Kinder eggs are okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're good to see you there, Jade. We're good to see you there. And you as well, Adriano, if you fancy. Don't feel obliged, though. There's no obligation at all. But, you know, we're good to see you both there. But there's no obligation, as I say. So the Cadbury ones, and I think these are the ones that are really good. Well, it's fine. I'll tell you what. Before we do that, we'll do the M&S one. All I've got for a wrapper is, uh, <laughs> is this. There is no box to it. Just this sort of little full wrapper thing with a, with a smiley face somewhere on it. I think it might have been ripped in half, so unfortunately you can't see it. <laughs> the M&S one, that was all right. It was a bit slightly better than the, uh, the Kinner one. Hmm. Quality of chocolate-wise, it just seemed, it seemed to taste a bit better. Um... A bit more of a richness about it. Well, of course, I couldn't see the ingredients on it because there was no ingredients on it, so it's hard to say for sure, but I don't think I'm imagining that. But I think, again, it was still quite low value for money. It wasn't too great. Um, didn't really have any kind of packaging or anything, no extra chocolate bar or anything like that, so I think it's still probably two and a half out of five, the M&S one. A bit disappointing, that one, I think. It was okay, probably good for Easter egg hunts and things, but it's, you know, one pound fifty an egg. It's the one that cost 25p more than the others. So a bit maybe slightly disappointing, that one, really. Now the uh, Milky Bar one, Ooh, here we go, so there's the uh, snapshot of the ingredients just in case you want to see them, but uh, I'm have to pause the video after the event maybe, <laughs> we did talk about it a bit further before though, but 65 grams, so it's a, again another small one, but the milk cho the um, white chocolate's lovely, Nestle Milky Bar, it's a lovely white chocolate, but there's no frills in this one, you're paying the same as others, you've got the Nestle Smarties one, which is um, with the same price, made by the same company, it's basically almost twice the weight for chocolate, you know. So why they couldn't do um, Milky Bar buttons inside the Milky Bar egg, I don't know. I thought that was a bit of a shame. So I think the fact that it tastes so nice, it has a, it's a lovely white chocolate. I think that might just slightly lift it up, maybe. But I feel like the value for money, I feel like they're really scrimping on it there. So again, I think it's slightly better by the fact that it's just a, a nicer... Chocolate, but you know, white chocolate, but can I really say it's better than the M&S one? This is why you've got to be careful sometimes with the ratings. Um, I think maybe just about, it's a three out of five, but just because I think it's just a bit of a, it, it is a really nice white chocolate. I, I, you know, I've got to give credit where it's due there. I think the ones didn't stand out too much as far as the taste was concerned, but that one, I think that definitely is a nice one. But as I say, I can't really rate it higher than that because you don't get any Milky Way buttons in there or anything special. I think they're really sort of ripping you off almost really with that one compared to the other ones anyway you know it's like 30 grams lighter so yeah than the, the cadbury ones you've joined discord great stuff great stuff jade great to see you there yes i'll uh, chat after the event but that's great stuff yeah good to see you there that's a scotty um and qp are the general admins there so well the, the moderators i'd say i guess i administer the site and things but the moderating there but yeah so you'll see them a lot yeah but feel free to join in the chat and uh post some pics of your chocolate creations and chocolate uh Loving things and um, all things green and blacks, I guess. <laughs> Milky bars are winning, I think. Well, the Cadbury one, I mean, for you, I think, Jade, I think for you, because you don't like the Cadbury stuff. But um, I think, yeah, I think for me, the Cadbury ones, they were such better value for money. Um, you know, it depends on what you like, of course. And obviously, in your case, Jade, I think you might have to ignore this. <laughs> I think the Milky Bar one is the one for you. Mind you, actually, let me said that. We'll do the smartest one next. Maybe this is the one for you. I think this one was really good. This was the same cost as all the others but it had so much more in i mean the, the amount of smarties looked disappointing but the weightage of it was 119 grams which is uh i say when compared to the milky bar one i keep dropping them on the floor here which was 65 so it's literally almost double the size the bullet weight um you know so obviously that is probably more with just chocolate on smarties but it's full size smarties it wasn't mini smarties which i quite like they could have put loads of mini smarties in and made it pad it out that way which i'm glad they didn't so I think for me this one, pretty good. I think it's the chocolate's not the best though. I mean, it is Milky Bar, uh, Nestle Milky um, Milk Chocolate, but hmm, 
So that's the only problem with it really. Obviously, I do love Yorkies there myself. For some reason, Nestle milk chocolate does work well in that, that chunkiness of it. I don't know. I feel like it's probably a good one. Kids would probably enjoy it. I feel like it just, it doesn't have an X factor with the other. Some of them do. This one doesn't really. It just feels, even though it's bigger, you get more from it. I don't feel like you are doing it, even though, you know, it didn't feel that way. But I think for me, for that reason, and again, maybe you could up all these a bit more. It's 125 though is a very, it's much cheap, is very subjective. But I think for me as an Easter egg, I'm quite happy with it. I think 3 and out of 5, I think I was very happy with that Smarties one. Very happy with that. But I think for me, probably the best ones are probably the cabby ones, just because I feel like you're getting, um, you're just getting the proper product really. You know what I mean? I feel like you are, you're getting dairy milk chocolate and it just feels like you're actually getting the proper product itself. Yeah. What's my winner? Well, find out, we'll find out. Yeah, about to say, I think. Probably the cabbage one, but we'll see. You get a milky bar for 90 grams cheaper, yes. <laughs> is it 90 grams? Yeah, you probably can. That's that that is that is the problem, isn't it, with all these? That's why, while they're quite a good value for Easter eggs, they are generally not great value. You know. It used to be one pound. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's gone up in price now. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, the things that that is the nature of it. They never go down in price, do they? White chocolate is your favourite, so you probably go for the Milky Bar. The Milky Bar one was really good. I just feel like they could have put stuff in it. As I say, they're over, all the other smart Nestle ones they've done, at least I've seen, generally have a filling in there. And the weightage doesn't it's not doesn't make up for it by, by the weightage, does it? You know what I mean? The smartest is 119 grams, the Milky Bar one, what was it, 65 or something? Um, yeah, 65. So, you know, I feel that's the problem with that one. But it's still nice, but yeah. Yeah, the bar's gone to £1.25. Well, it's still um, still the same same price as these ones, so you probably get more weightage, yeah. So, so you're still right there, Jade. I calculated, if you pay £30, it's actually £36.52 in US currency. Yeah, this is it. It's quite a lot. Those those £30 eggs are quite expensive. Yeah, they're not cheap. They're not cheap, Adriana, that's for sure. <laughs> well, the cabby ones, I feel the cabby ones, for me, obviously, if you don't like... Cadbury or what have you, you know, Mondelez, this, that, and the other, or just a general taste. But I feel like they, I feel like they really look good. I like the way they have on the side of them what they look like, and it's pretty much actual size. Um, I like the way that, that you know, you, you, I felt like you did get reasonable good value for them, to be honest with you, reasonable. Um, if you, you did get milk, sort of dairy milk eggs from them, you know, I'm sure the mini eggs one was dairy milk. Um, it's quite, you know, it's one of those. <laughs> sure it was, keep tasting it. Mm. Mm. That's a sort of... Yeah, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain it is, really. Yeah, 98%. <laughs> um, it just has that sort of velvetiness to it. I'm quite sure of it. But, um, yeah, I feel these were really good. I felt you got sort of, you know, a nice... You got a filling inside them, like the Milky Bar one, the Milky Bar one yeah. Um, and the other different types of them as well. You get the Fredo ones, you get whatever you like, really. There's so many different types and all the same price, you know, and they've all, and I felt the pictures were relatively accurate. It, it, look, it looks like there's more than there is on the picture because it's very much a sort of, I feel like they, they take up, I feel like the, the cross section of the egg isn't 3D enough on the actual egg itself. So I think uh, it doesn't show the depth of the egg. I think that's the problem. So the egg is actually, they're also maybe because when we, when I smashed them, I did smash them perfectly in half. So you're looking at them. Like that, so it just looked like it was a lot more empty than it is. So it's probably they're probably using the fact it's half an egg to its advantage there. I felt like these were pretty good actually. As far I think these for me were generally the winners because you got a, a middle to them. You know, it was really nice. It was really nice. Oh, thank you so much, Jay. Thank you so so much. That's really nice of you. Thank you so much. Did it pop up on the screen by the way? Did the little because when I was talking, I might not have noticed it. <laughs> Hopefully, the little cat appeared on the screen. <laughs> Oh, thank you so, so much, Jess. Very much appreciated. It really is. Oh, thank you. Oh, really is appreciated. Good to see you as well. Good for all the chats as well. Nice to have a good uh, good chat online. And Adrian, of course, and, uh, and Joe and Andy from before. Oh, and of course, Andrew, when he popped in before as well. And QP, of course, where she's gone, disappeared again. Probably having a tea. Oh, there we go. It's appeared there. You can see there. The little dog appeared. <laughs> it wasn't a cat, it was a dog. But new one's a cat when you become a member. I oh, very much appreciate it. Thank you, Jade. All your support's always massively welcome as well. But as I say, always great to see you chatting as well. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yes. Oh, better late, to, <laughs> better late than never, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Jade. Very much appreciated. And good to see you on Discord as well. I'll say I've been a bit behind on it this week. I've just past two weeks, 
It's been a very uh, difficult, well, not difficult couple of weeks, but busy, busy couple of weeks basically. But I'm back on, I'm back on top. I hope now. <laughs> Yeah, so I think to uh, wrap up the Cadbury ones, I think they're all pretty much quite similar, really. It depends on what you like, if you like Freddo or whatever, but I think uh, Mini Eggs, they're all represented pretty well. I think they're accurate to what they say, although it does look a bit disappointing when you actually open it, just because I think the depth of the egg just looks a bit... It just it just seems to not work as well as it does on the beautified description on the side. But I feel like they are quite accurate. I thought it wasn't, but I feel like they actually are. So I think for me, all the Cadbury ones... I think for me, you know, they just about win out. I think they're a four out of five, the Cadbury ones. For an Easter egg, I think they're still not great value for money, generally. But I feel like you're getting as good as you probably generally would expect to get from an Easter egg. But I do wish there was a bit more filling in there. But compared to the Milky Bar one, which doesn't have any, you know, it's a lot better. So, you know, I feel they weren't too bad. <laughs> That's okay, I like how you talk and, and chat and make us feel involved, ah. <laughs> well, it's, well, it's very nice to chat to you, Jade. And of course, yeah, it's lovely to sort of, as I say, yourself and Adriana Jow, you know, it's not really good, and uh, Scotty when he's about, of course. If, well, I have most people who do chat in the chat, actually, I must say, are lovely to speak to. And uh, of course, it's great to, uh, great to have, um, you know, yeah, welcome you aboard, I guess, is the gist of it. So yeah, as I say, the Discord does keep going on. In fact, there's uh, there's Nightbot now on, on brand. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> As I say, so well, we can chat on there as well. It's like, um, you know, basically a sort of like the old school chat rooms, I guess, but obviously, you know, specific to the channel and stuff like that. So it'd be good to see you there. <laughs> so if I keep looking off to this side, but it's where the screen is, basically. So I'm kind of looking at what's on the screen as well as chatting to the cameras. It's hard to sort of, you know, do both at once. So that's <laughs> and the chat's down there. So I've got the I've got the representation of the screen on this side, the chat on that side and the camera on this side. So I'm trying to sort of, yeah. And then the actual thing down here as well, the actual stuff I'm reviewing. So one of those, maybe I need to be a bit better than that, I don't know, but there we go. <laughs> oh, nice one, Jay. Well, it'll be great to see you there, really well. <laughs> right, well, that's, that's it, I guess, for today, guys. So I'll be live next week, as I say, 4pm Saturday, all going well. So I will post if, an update if that doesn't turn out to be the case, but um, should be there. I think it'll be more Easter reviews, basically. Probably more, not Easter eggs, but actual just regular Easter stuff, we'll see. Um, sort of Easter bunnies and things. We'll see how it goes there. I'm not sure yet, but um, sometimes I do a bit of a poll to see what I review, but generally I've been just doing Easter stuff at the moment, so there we go. <laughs> oh, thank you for the live. See you on Discord next live, etc. Yeah, well, wherever, you know, as I say, don't feel obliged to do anything, by the way, Jay. There's no obligation there. So if you, Adrian, as well, but it'd be great to see you in Discord if you do happen to uh, fancy joining it, so there we go. All right, thanks, guys. It's been great to see you all. Great to chat to you all. Thanks, Jade. Thanks, Adriana. And thanks again for the super chat, Jade, as well. Mercifully appreciate it. It really is. And thanks to see you as well, Jow. Great to see you. Uh, the weather's uh, continuing to be nice. It sounds like it is. And Andrew from before. And, of course, Andy from, from the gym. Live from the gym. <laughs> and QP, great to see you as well, QP. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so there's a few Casey as well turned up, didn't you, before? Great to see you as well, Casey. And, uh, yes... And who else was it? It was Poppy as well, wasn't it? Yes. So great to see you all. Really nice to see you all, everyone. Really good turnout today, so really great to see you all. <laughs> oh, yes, great to chat with you all. A great Easter show. Oh, thanks so much, Jay. Have a good weekend, everyone. Oh, have a great one. Okie dokie. Enjoy the rest of the day and evening. Oh, thank you. You too, Jade. Enjoy your green and blacks if you get any. <laughs> oh, yes. And take care, Jay, as well, of course. Oh, yeah. Have a peaceful Saturday, everyone. Have a good one. Take care, everyone. See you soon. And apologise, by the way, if there's um, if I don't mention you before you've gone, if your chat doesn't come through, there's a six-second delay of things going back and forth. I might not have received it, basically, so I'm not ignoring you. I just apologise for that. <laughs> have a bashing day, my great friends. Oh, very nice you to see Adriana. Have a good one yourself. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Enjoy the, that tonight. Oh, yes, enjoy it. Let us know how you get on with it. <laughs> Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye for now.